Lesson 611, Math and Gardening. Look at the drawing of Joachim's garden. It is divided into two quadrilaterals. What is the perimeter of part A? Part A, the perimeter is six plus six plus six plus six. Don't get confused here where it says eight, that's eight all the way across. It's actually just six, because it's a square, right? So that's 24 feet. What's the perimeter of part B? Two plus two and three plus three, which equals 10 feet. What is the perimeter of the combined garden? So then I just added up all the sides. So six plus six plus three plus two plus three plus eight is 28 feet. Number three, will Joaquin need more fencing to enclose the two parts of the garden separately or to enclose the combined garden? So he would need more to enclose separately because separately, um, it's this, it's 24 for the one plus 10 for the other. So he would need 34. Um, and then for combine, it's 28. So 34 is more than 28. So enclosing it separately would, would require more fencing. Number four, what is the area of part A? Well, it's six times six, so it's 36 square feet. What is the area of part B? Two times three is six square feet. What is the combined area? I'm sorry, what is the area of the combined garden? So you just add those together. 36 plus six is 42 square feet combined. Number six, how does the total area of the two parts of the garden compare to the area of the combined garden? Well, you add the area of the two gardens to get the total area of the combined garden. Okay. All right, next slide. Um, design a garden, use the dot uh, paper to draw a different garden excuse me, that has the same perimeter as Joaquin's gar combined garden. Beside it, draw a different garden that has the same area as Joaquin's garden. So perimeter, I had to write that down. So I remember the first one said he had a 28 foot perimeter. So I made this garden that was a square, it had each side was seven, because I know seven times four is 28. So I know four sevens equal 28. And then um, it said it was 42 square feet for the area. And so I knew that six times seven was 42. So I made uh, another a rectangle garden that's six by seven. Number seven, what is the area of your garden that has the same perimeter as Joaquin's garden? Well, my garden, since it's um, seven, four sevens, um, it's seven times seven, so it's 49 square feet. And it says, what is the perimeter of your garden that has the same area as Joaquin's garden? Well, this one will be seven plus seven plus six plus six, so it'll be 26 square feet. And it says, use the, cent the centimeter dot paper at the right to draw separate areas within a garden where you could plant corn, beans, and tomatoes. The area of the corn is 12 square feet. And so I kind of wish I had done this up a little higher. I ended up having to add another row. So if you're doing it, maybe go up one. I did four by three for the corn because that would equal 12. And then area for the beans is 25. So I did five by five. And then the area for the tomatoes is 20 square feet. So I did four by five. And I accidentally cut it short and did four by four, but then I added that one there. So sorry about that. 